What is it that we're going to measure? How are we going to measure it? When are we going to measure it? And how are we going to share it? So I'm sure you're all familiar very much with the concepts of different types of measurement. So you'll see in a minute a little comic um, about measurement, qualitative and quantitative. So I can measure how many ice creams someone might eat, or I can measure how they felt after eating the ice cream. Now, if, if you're like me, you think DevOps is the best flavoured ice cream, so people should feel quite good after eating it. Now, to take that back to more of maybe a project methodology or something we might be familiar with, let's think about the scope of measurement. So we can measure something locally as a team, as a DevOps team. We can measure it internally as a company and see how our company is doing something. Or we can measure it externally to the company as well. So why would we use these? Generally, a local team measurement is something where we want to do some learning or some intelligent thinking. So we want to instrument to see how our DevOps project is working within the organisation. From a local, uh, sorry, an internal perspective, we want to make sure we're getting the proof to prove to the rest of our colleagues that we're actually doing good things when we're doing, um, you know, when we're doing something in DevOps. From an external pers uh, perspective, what it allows us to do is actually show to the company and to the business that the technical things that we're doing as engineers and developers are having a positive effect um, on the company that we're working with. So I work mostly in the enterprise space and the company I work for, CA, also does. So we did a survey in 2014 of around 25 Turkish organisations to see how they wanted to measure their DevOps project. Now, 30% of them were going to measure external aspects, 57% were going to measure internal, and 13% had no idea exactly what they were going to measure. So I know it might seem like some of these people were right and some of them might have been wrong, but in actual fact, when it comes to measurement, you have to think very carefully about what you want to prove, who you want to prove it to, and then you can choose the aspect that you're going to measure. So in that respect, they're all right. So some examples, you might want to build successful, you might want to, sorry, measure successful versus unsuccessful builds, so you know where errors are getting introduced into the code. You might want to measure maybe successful versus unsuccessful deployments, because this is going to tell you if you make a change somewhere in the DevOps or continuous delivery tool chain, was it a good change or was it a bad change? From an internal company perspective, there's many, many metrics, but some of the customers we've worked with have measured things like application availability, right? So we can see if, as we apply DevOps principles to an application, are we making that application inherently more stable? We might also measure maybe how many changes we can apply to that application, or even cycle time, which is the time it takes to get from development to production to see how that's working. Also, obviously, production-related errors, if we reduce those with the DevOps toolchain, we know we're on to a good thing. Lastly, and maybe most importantly, is external metrics. So, you know, we could be measuring the app store, we could be measuring the market share that we've got, even revenue of an application or company, or even customer satisfaction. Because at the end of the day, the user experience is very important, so if we know the customers are happy, we know we're doing quite well. Finally, a couple of lessons learned in the field. Um, first of all, it's better to measure a few things than many things if that's all you've got, right? So measure whatever you can. Secondly, uh, measure as early as possible because later in the project it becomes hard to fit these things backwards. And if you've got no proof, there's really nothing for you to show at the end of the project. Lastly, share, share and share internally and externally, because if you're bragging or boasting about how good DevOps is, it can only be a good thing. Uh, that's my presentation. Thank you very much. Cheers. So thank you very much, Mr. Poulton. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now eat and get some energy for the afternoon session. And we hope to see you back here at a quarter past two.